We are a small department with limited apparatus, so we need apparatus that can reach some of the areas that are not easily accessible by road. Our chief was at a fire chief's meeting, saw a demo on the QTAC Super 6. My first impression was that it was like the new age, you know, the next, the next best thing in wildland firefighting. So I hadn't seen one with that kind of a stance and big tires, but it, it made perfect sense for, from the standpoint of uh, accessibility and ground clearance and, you know, quick attack type rig, which is what most departments that live in an area like we do, that's what they need. Just prior to us researching the Super 6, we did have a wildland fire here in the city. Uh, we have a number of them, and it would have been pretty easy to pick up if we could have just went through a ditch um, right alongside the road. Not a deep ditch, uh, but our current apparatus just wouldn't go through it. With the Super 6 we have now, that's not even an obstacle for it. It just rolls right through it. It gives us a lot of versatility that we don't have. we wouldn't have had without it. The functionality has been great um, on different fires that we've had. Yeah, it's, it's done its job and, and fit right into where we hoped it would. So we're really happy with it. I think just the thought process QTAC put into the rig with everything from the lighting package. It lights up the world at night. And it, whenever we leave the city, we're basically in the dark. There's no lighting and this lights up the world. In fact, we use it as a lighting resource at trainings around incidents just because of the light it puts out. The way the box is set up with just the little things has them above a lot of other companies. How deep the compartments are compared to some of the other type sixes with the metal bodies. And the other thing I like is because of the poly construction, they're almost infinitely changeable. No matter where we're at in town, if we're parked out all in front of the station or driving through town, everybody's looking at it. We've had vehicles literally slam on their brakes driving down the street to look at it. It's given us a little more capability with the way the California vehicle codes are with driver's licenses. This rig does not require an endorsement or a commercial driver's license. So therefore, those firefighters who have not obtained their either commercial license or endorsement yet, they are capable of driving this and operating it at an emergency school. I've built a lot of apparatus for City of Wairika, from Type 1 engines to ladder trucks to, you know, another Type 6. This was probably the easiest build I ever had to do. I've been involved in every build in this department in the last 25 years, and it was probably the smoothest process that I've been through. The standard QTAC build, it, it's pretty plug and play. Other manufacturers, they kind of want you to stick to their game plan. QTAC was all about working with us to make sure we got what we needed. QTAC had a, had a whole team that we met with and they were very attentive to our requests and our needs. Anything that was an issue, they got right on it and were very timely in getting back to us. Very simple, I would say, and one of the easiest ones I've dealt with as well. I can say enough about QTAC and the, the employees there. They, they've been wonderful and great to do work with.